I am at the airport picking up a friend I made through YouTube. Uh, instead of a YouTube course, which I've met, met friends that way, this one I met because this guy, Lewis, commented on my video like last year and we started commenting on each other's videos and connecting and talking over video calls and he's flying here for a business trip, so time to meet him in person for the first time. Samsung phone? Yeah, this is a Samsung phone. One? Yeah, the, well, last year's model. No, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is Lewis. He came from Vancouver and this is the amazing <laughs> connection of how YouTube can connect people and now we're actually meeting in person. This is Paul, in case you don't know him. We ate pizza and we talked about girls and he was giving me some tips on what to do on dates and a couple tips were actually really insightful. This is what a burnt out <laughs> consultant looks like. <laughs> I'll link his video at the end of mine. Burnt out consultant. In the hotel room of Lewis's uh, business trip stay. There's a, you can't really see well, there's a Canadian flag outside and all these downtown buildings. That's Union Station right there. I'm having brunch with a burnt out corporate consultant. <laughs> Very burnt out. This is a uh, sundubu tofu stew, Korean. We laughed so hard when we were talking about how he's gonna quit his corporate consulting job to become a YouTuber full time and to make ends meet and pay for rent to become an Uber Eats delivery guy and how his mom is gonna react to all of that. Oh my gosh, we laughed so hard, just imitating her reaction. <laughs> my son used to be a corporate consultant at a very big, well-known firm, and now <laughs> he's doing Uber Eats delivery while making YouTube videos. Oh man, good times. It's been a fun time, but we're at the airport. Time to say goodbye to my Vancouver YouTube friend. I'm going away now, but uh, Paul seems uh, exactly the same in person as he is in, in the video. Oh, okay, that's good to know. I'm pretending to be something else. I can, uh, I can attach to that now that I spent some time with him. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. Thanks for sharing, Louis. How about me? Do I seem different? Uh, no, I would say you're, you're exactly how you come off in your videos, too. Uh, Okay, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I think we have we're both congruent with our YouTube personas. Not that's... pretending to be someone cooler than ourselves yeah. in the videos. We're exactly as we are in our YouTube videos. As lame as, as we are. <laughs> <laughs> and it is goodbye Lewis. That was a fun couple days together. The magic of YouTube, connecting people across the world or at least across the country, opposite sides of the country. It was really cool to see him in person and uh, hope to see him again in the future. The fact that a YouTube comment actually led to a friendship where we talk online and actually meet up in person, that's wild, man. And Lewis is not the only one. There's another guy, Dylan, who I commented on his videos long time ago, maybe last year, and we've since become friends. He lives in Peru, so I've never met him, but we still message and video call online once in a while and man that's just that's so cool i mean this just wasn't i didn't think that was possible when i was beginning my youtube journey i'm earning around 50 cents a day on youtube and that's cool but i would say these friendships that have formed because of youtube that's way cooler so that is the power of youtube folks i'll see you tomorrow 1% better every day, baby. She comes to me when I'm sitting on the couch and wants petting. So nice, Watchy. <laughs> Tigger came for morning cuddles. Thank you.